Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty bird. Look at you. You fishing. We took Easter week off, but here's a sneak peek at next week's episode where we yank out the old sanitation system completely, remove 40-year-old nastiness, and begin the interior refit thanks to some wonderful sponsors as well as some hard labor from friends and family along the way. We weren't recording. It's her fault. Okay, maybe it's my fault, but... Chemo brain. <laughs> Chemo brain is a real thing. <laughs> Even when you're not a couple of years after chemo, it's still a real thing. Can't remember crap half the time. Put it on the right way. That's what she said. <laughs> Any sailboat, whether it's sitting in a marina, on the hook, or sailing a long passage, needs to have its bottom cleaned regularly. And this is our dear friend Fleetwood graciously cleaning Kaya. Mucho gracias, my friend. How you doing down there, Aston? Grossed out. Now I gotta pull this piece out somehow. <laughs> I can't wait to get the vents in here. Yeah, I know. I should have brought them with me. Mm -hmm. Put them in. Hey, it's just smearing the nasty, but I can get it broke up and then. You don't think what? I don't think this ever Probably not. Yeah, that's pretty gross. That was off the ceiling? That was off the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's off your ceiling. Oh, God, that's gross. <laughs> that's disgusting. Just this alone, like wiping the ceiling down, is going to help. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's hot, and I'm in a monkey suit, so we'll probably burn 50 pounds off today. But we are going to take out the plumbing and the holding tank and get ready for our composting toilet to get put in and this is obviously going to be a shitty job that I am not looking forward to at all. This is right here? Yeah. I just need you to wiggle it a little bit so I can see inside here. When you do that, make sure it's nice and loose and it's not. Okay. I gotta figure out where the hell this goes. We went through the pandemic. How come we don't have masks? I have a mask in my purse. I need. I need a screw gun. Actually, just hand me the bag because there's a bunch of stuff in there. I need. I feel like I always wanted to redo everything and I'm getting it. Yep, you are. cancer she wore a respirator but with the cancer everybody yells at me if I don't so I have to make sure I'm putting on my safety gear it doesn't fit the greatest but it'll work finally getting paid up Oh, 
Well, I should probably have a respirator on mm. with this oil based paint. Well, since I'm doing the um, hole liner, um, the carpet liner inside the V berth, and since I'm doing that, I needed to go ahead and replace out the lights that were up there in the V berth um, because I, the, the, the wiring's hidden behind that hole liner. And I realized as I'm going in there and getting ready to put the new hole liner on, um, I wasn't planning on doing electrical work, but since I have to, I'm gonna at least run the, the new wiring for the, the lights and replace those lights. And so it's a great time to thank sponsors for this week's video. Um, we've got Brita Products has uh, kindly supplied us with some new lighting. This is LED lighting. Uh, it's two color, both white and red for at night. And we're gonna be replacing these throughout the whole boat. So we thank Brita Products um, for their contribution. Um, we also have Jomeca has supplied us with heat shrink connectors and in, in a whole kit in various sizes. So we want to thank Jomeca as well. And then PC Micro Store has generously um, donated 200 feet of 14 gauge marine wire that we are using to wire the entire boat with. Um, so we want to thank them as well for their contribution. Um, this marine wire is by Garrett and it's uh, copper tinned, of course, oxygen free. And it's a duplex wire, which is what we were really wanting to do the boat in. So we appreciate every one of those sponsors. Um, we've got some more review videos to do with them and their products. Um, but for this week, we wanted to give a shout out to them and thank them again for their contribution. And you can find the links to all of those, these three products, um, both down below in the description on the video, as well as on our website, www.svkaya.com forward slash products and the links to all of these will be directly in there and thank you again to this week's sponsors and back to the video that's better that's the only spot a lot of loose stuff <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we should be good. Shit, there's still more there. What the hell? Can you didn't tell me there was more there. One, you'd have to do it twice. All right, if it's worth doing, do it right the first time. Apparently, I didn't. This disinfectant stuff that's like safe. There's no chemicals. So, yeah. There's this uh, botanical cleaner disinfecting. No chemicals at all. So, ocean safe, boat safe. We've got the paper towels right there. And I'm going to start getting this ready back here so we can put the new toilet in. I'll start cleaning back there. We want to start cleaning in here. A shitty job, but somebody's got to do it, my love. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's all, it's all a shitty job until we're done. Yep. The head's pulled out. All the hoses have been cut out since we couldn't get them off all the seacocks. Um, we will. <laughs> I want to see your seacock cock cock. Your seacock cock. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay then. <laughs> yeah, it's a family friendly channel if you didn't know. Um. <laughs> it's a song, I just remade the song. All right, well, that sucked, but we did get it out. Uh, we'll put the new one in there. All right now. I gotta take a break. Oh. Well, let me come kick back up here. Uh, there we go. Uh, much better. Get some air and a drink. It's a beautiful day. Alright, so our cutty is now installed. We'll hook the vent up and be able to run the fan. We also have our electrical, which is up underneath. Now, we don't have room here, as you can see, and that's okay. I'll actually be pulling this out just enough to cut a little bit out of here and install the electrical right behind it. So right now we're gonna put the compost bin back in and we've got cocoa core and we've got it filled just a, an inch above the, yeah, those things. <laughs> An inch above those mixtures here that stir it up. Now once you put the solids bin in, you pull this out, turn it up, that actually locks it in place. We we'll put the hearing tank back in here. We need to put a battery in here still, but That is the cutty and stuff. So we'll go over this in a little more detail on how it works. Um, but this is the first part of the install. We still have a lot of work to do. We got to hook up the vent. We got to hook up the 12 volt for the fan. We got to put a battery in here for the LED that shows when the um, urine tank starts to get full. That's it. All right, so I just wanted to show you real quick. On your cutty, if you take the solids bin out, there is actually, see it right here, these little round spots here. These are where you want to put your screws if you're going to attach it. So, um, Kind of nice, you can put this on drawer slides if you want. I know uh, for the vans they do a lot, but that's where we're attaching. So before I put that last screw in, I wanted to show that to you. And when we do the vent, we actually take this out and flip it around and invert it and put it back on, reinstall it. And what that does is that blows the fan out through the vent instead of up into the carbon um, canister that would normally go here if you're not venting. So that's how that's going to work. Yeah, this hatch is what I'm working on now. And the whole hatch, unfortunately, is that way. They used that crappy paint. I'm not even sure what they used, but yeah, don't do that. Use the right paint, or at least use a good quality paint. Looks damn good. Looking much, much better. Yeah. Repairs we gotta make. Just the, so many things on here that were done incorrectly. Here's one. You wonder why the window was leaking? Well, let me put my finger in there and see if you can see this. Look at the loose wood just kinda shoved in there. 
and then the tons and tons. My God, there must be like two tubes of silicone just in this one window. Enough to actually separate everything and make the window leak even worse. Don't do that. This side's not much better. Tons and tons of silicone. This is crazy to clean. It's 10 times harder than it needed to be. And then there was wood bolted over the chain plates, which we gotta do a little fiberglass work in here, but really because they screwed all the way through from one side to the other and made that extremely difficult to get. Like, uh, what do you call that going on in the bar? <laughs> um, the limbo? Yeah, if you're doing the limbo. Yeah, the it's boat. like you're doing the limbo under the boat ceiling <laughs> while you're painting. <laughs> <laughs> limbo, you can do it, baby. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think I got it all. Thank goodness I'm just tall enough that I don't touch. 